In this video, we're going to take a look <clears throat> at permutations, what it is, how you go about calculating one, and then work out one example. A permutation is an arrangement of objects in a specific order. All right, and that's the number one key thing that you're going to want to remember about permutations is that they are in a specific order. Okay, when objects are arranged in a row, the permutation is called a linear permutation, which most of the time when you're doing permutation problems, you are referring to a linear permutation. A permutation of n objects. Okay, so we've got so many objects here, n number of objects, and we need to find the number of permutations. The number of permutations of n objects is given by n factorial. All right, that looks like an exclamation point. All right, it would be written like 12 factorial, 13 factorial, 6 factorial. All right, it is not an exclamation point. It is the mathematical symbol for factorial. Okay, so that's how we're going to go about doing this. And basically, when I work out this first example, you'll see and understand what a factorial is and what it does. So in this example, we've got um, in a 12-tone music, in 12-tone music, each of the 12 notes in an octave must be used exactly once before any are repeated. A set of 12 tones is called a tone row. Okay, so some background information about what a tone row is. All right, tone row consists of 12 tones. The question is how many different tone rows are possible? Okay, this is a permutation question. Things have to be in a specific order. I have exactly 12 to choose from, so I would choose answer this by doing 12 factorial. All right, so 12 factorial is written like that. All right, now in general, a factorial, you start with whatever number you are given in the factorial, and then you multiply every number all the way down to one. So a 12 factorial would be 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, times 2, times 1, all right, which is kind of long. You could do it individually out on your calculator. Most of the time there will be a uh, button, a factorial button on your calculator, and you could just do 12 factorial. If you do not have one, then you would take 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 all the way down to 1. This turns out to be, um, let's see, 479 million... 1,600. All right, so that's how many different tone rows are possible, all right, using permutations. So basically just one quick, short little explanation here with one example of what a permutation is, how you calculate it, and the fact that it definitely deals with a specific order. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends.